Uh, hello, hello everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel. Um, uh, I'm not going to watch Bleach, okay? So I figure, I figure I can hot pocket it and then I can actually understand what the hell y'all been talking about for the last couple of, couple of weeks now. Because like, I know my, some of my Bleach fans got pissed off. Don't get mad at me. I didn't even vote. I can't vote in my own polls. They voted you off the island out of the big three. So don't get mad at me. I'll be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. Links for the original creator will be down below. We're going to be doing Bleach in 16 minutes. Hopefully I understand what the hell's going on now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, I swore I picked English. Oh, oh, it's a weeaboo cover. My bad. <laughs> In the beginning of Bleach, we got Ichigo Kurosaki, a purposeless protagonist. One night, Ichigo was just chilling, thinking about hentai, and that's when he meets Rukia, who randomly sneaks into his room. That's uh, I'm sorry, um, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, niggas just coming in people's, that's not breaking and entering? Is this, is this Japan? Is, do they not use doors? What is going on already? When Ichigo is like, please don't rape me. But wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. But we all know Rukia wasn't about wait, that. Wait. It explains that she's a soul reaper and that Ichigo is no regular human because he can see her in spirits. Just then, a hollow attacks, taking Ichigo's sister, Karin. Rukia is then all like, I got this, and saves Karin. And shortly after, the hollow goes for Ichigo, but then Rukia uses her secret technique, the human shield. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Defending Ichigo from the Hollow's ferocious attack. Now that Rukia's health has depleted near to zero, she then says, Yo, if you want to live, you gotta take my soul reaper powers. Oh, look at that. A woman who doesn't know any better. What are the odds? And Ichigo re Hold up. But she just met this nigga. Why would she... Why would she care? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Dang, this is some simp... This is some simp energy. What the heck? She just met him. Why is she giving her life? Am I, did I miss something? Replies with, say no more. Accepting the powers. I, Strawberry Kurosaki, now have purpose in this anime. And so he goes for the slash. Taking out that hollow with ease. Moving forward, two soul reapers from the soul society, Renji and Byakuya, pull up to the world of the living and are like, Hey Rukia, you have pulled one of the biggest taboos a soul reaper can ever make. And that is trans NERD! Transferring your powers over to a human. So for that, you're gonna die. Oh god damn it. And so they end up trying to cut that bitch up, but soon after, the main- I thought she was dead. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> She's still alive? Okay, okay, she's, she's still alive. Okay, okay, Shay, Shay's following. In character, of course, comes to the rescue, but ends up getting his ass beat and catching a few L's. Wrong answer! Afterward. Did he just cut his arm off or his, what? No, it can't, it cannot be his head because if he cut his head off, then I have to use my decapitation thing. Decapitation! But I think he cut his arm off? We're doing some Saris stuff already. Jesus Christ. Rukia, Renji, and Byakuya head to the Soul Society to perform a proper execution on Rukia, leaving Ichigo in critical condition. By the way, Rukia was the one who technically saved Ichigo by accepting her fate and suggesting that they leave the main character behind to bleed out and die. To a woman so heartless. Did they really think the main character could die by simply bleeding out? Moving forward, Ichigo gets Nurse Droid. Why did he get a titty? Why did he get a bra? Did they really think the main character could die by simply bleeding out? Moving forward, Ichigo- Why did he get a bra? Ichigo gets Nurse Droid by Kisuke Udahara. And that's when Udahara is like, You want to enter this soul society? I got you if you come to my basement, big boy. Oh, no. No. So for this operation to rescue Rukia, Ichigo is joined by Brock, Misty, and Max. Okay, I need to stop with these goddamn Pokemon references. Bruh, I, I was about to say, wow, this is... I, I was about to say, did this come out before Pokemon 2? Because, like, last time I said to Naruto fans, Naruto fans, that they're, 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 Pika, not their Pikachus, Jinchus. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Jinchus. Wrong. Wrong. 
Jim Jinjus. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Their Jeep Cherokees were Pokemon and they got pissed. So for this operation, Ichigo is joined by his friends, Orihime, Uriyu, and Chad, who also possess some type of supernatural power. Orihime has Shinshin Rika, Chad has Urasu Derecha de Gigante, and Uriyu has Quincy powers. He has Quincy powers? Nigga, that just look is he is he the is he the Nighthawk of the group? Like uh, like in the Avengers? What the hell are you on about? Put your comments down below. I know I'm offending so many people and I'm not trying to. Which is basically a nice variant to what Wind Archers have in Maple Story. So given the portal by Udahara, all four <coughs> I mean five, including this cat, all enter the Soul Society. Well, that gotta hurt. While moving through the Soul Society, they end up bumping into this bitch, who gives them transportation, or I mean a cannon, to- Why? Shoot them into the Serate, where the Soul Reapers live. And most importantly, where Rukia is located. As I just- I just love in anime is how they're just so trusting of random niggas to the left and right. <laughs> Be like, do you know him? No. So what's she gonna do? She's gonna shoot us out of a cannon. Do you trust him? I don't know. As they enter the Sirite, they all end up getting split up into pairs. Since the Soul Reapers were ordered to get rid of the what intruders, Ichigo encounters a Soul Reaper named Ikaku, and... Easy! As a result for the victory, Ichigo manages to extract the information on the location where Rukia is being executed. And so he heads out, but as he's making his way towards Rukia, he is intercepted by Renji, and had no other choice but to fight. And as a result... Okay, so am I alone, or did that not explain anything? So this is hold up, hold up. Did he just get buffed? He got buffed? Did he get buffed? I, okay, I don't know how many episodes this is in between the first one and the... Like, I don't know how many episodes we done went by, but... Did, it, ain't these the same niggas that whooped their ass like five seconds ago? This is when Renji explains his backstory with Rukia. Basically going like, Rukia is my childhood friend. It's all my fault Rukia is getting executed. And after concluding his story about Rukia and him back in the good old days, he then requests that Ichigo goes ahead to save Rukia. And so, once again, Ichigo heads towards the direction where Rukia is being held. Why? Is that the other nigga? Why is, why is this nigga such a Captain Saber ho? Like, you don't know these people. I'm, okay, okay, before somebody says something. Mm, sorry, that was like a lot of uh, color on my lips. Before somebody says anything and then they be like, well, it's Shonen and da 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 I, Nerd! I just found out what the hell Shonen was like last night because I didn't know why people kept saying it. I was like, I thought they were trying to spell Shonies because I, I was hungry. How do you think I got so fat? Um... And maybe he, they just have a captain save a whole thing. I don't know. But as expected, another Soul Reaper cuts him off. And so this Soul Reaper is named Kenpachi, who's hungry for a good fight. The fight concludes with a stalemate, with both Ichigo and Kenpachi laying in critical condition. But, hey, damn! But, but no worries, five. the main character manages to survive. Wow, what a fucking surprise. Thanks to this cat... Hey there, Cherry. What's your name? Bruh. Yeah. Is that what furries want their partners to do? Like, go from a cat into a person and then go back into a cat? I'm asking, because I, I don't know how furries mate. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I like to dirty talk. But, I mean, like, this seems like some furry type bush. Is this how you get the panda bear? I remember a panda bear was in here, too. Uh, well, by the way, this cat girl's name is Yoriichi. And with that out of the way, Yoriichi brings Ichigo to special training grounds to train him to obtain his Bankai. Basically, the level 3 powers of his Zanpakuto, or in other words, his sword. After several episodes of getting an ass beating, guess who unlocks Bankai? Kimi Wakimi Takeshita! So with Ichigo having a mastery with Bankai, he's then like, it's time to rescue Rukia. So just as Rukia is about to get executed, Ichigo comes My bad. I, this is gonna be me. Maybe, maybe I would be just a bad villain. But if I say I'm gonna kill somebody, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait 
like three to five business days they gonna get murked i know she they said it had to be in a ritual and stuff like that but like i can't be no bad guy because i'll be like oh he gotta get murked okay cool 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 shay how how we gonna do it put a glock to his dome and get it over with like headshot like why are we waiting like what is this what is this for and I still don't understand why he is fighting so hard for this bitch. He barely know her. He's in clutch and sets Rukia free. He then tosses Rukia to Renji so Rukia can get the hell out of there while he takes care of the other Soul Reapers. But that's when Byakuya comes in like, oh no you don't. So with no other choice, Ichigo releases his... Oh shit, he made circles. You smart. And he ends up winning the fight by destroying Byakuya's Zanpak toe. This is when Byakuya is like, The only reason why I allowed Rukia, my sister-in-law, to be executed is because I come from a noble family who honors the law and must set an example for other Soul Reapers. But since you have defeated me, Bye-bye! Really, nigga? So with that being said, Byakuya has deserted his task to pursue Rukia, and so Rukia is pretty much off the hook at this point. But wait! Did you really think it was all gonna end here? Think again! Because this is when three Soul Reapers, Aizen, Gin, and Kaname, arrive at Rukia and run- Oh, it's a black guy! Hey, they have a black friend! Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend! Let's go! ...his location. Aizen then gets his hand and shoves that shit through Rukia's chest. Oh, stop fisting me! Taking the Hogyoku that Urahara had implanted and hid inside of her. This item is able to transfer Soul Reaper powers to Hollows and vice versa. Shortly after, Aizen, Gin, and Kaname flee the Soul Society to Waco Mundo, a dimension that resides between the world of the living and the Soul Society, and is also the habitat for Hollows. And by the way, they might be future villains later on, wink wink. Oh, I remember that's the nigga with the glow up. I remember that, you guys. So after nice work, Brain. You're welcome. That incident, the Soul Reapers no longer view Ichigo Uduyu, Chad, or Orihime as threats. And also, Orihime, Chad, and Uduyu did have their own fights. But really, if it didn't include the true main character, does it really matter? And so, they return to the world of the living on good terms with the Soul Reaper. But right before doing so, Ichigo is gifted a substitute Soul Reaper badge. Basically, a badge allowing Ichigo to go into Soul Reaper mode without using Soul Candy, like he always has been doing. And so, moving forward, we got- OH MY GOD! What the hell is Soul Candy? Or is it something that he's making up? Because I don't know. Filler arc! So moving past that atrocious filler arc, mm -hmm. Ichigo meets Shinji, who is a visor. And if you don't know what a visor it is, too bad. A bitch Just with a kidding. lot of teeth. So basically, a visor is a Soul Reaper who oh. has acquired hollow powers. And by the way, Ichigo has shown hints of having this type of power, but it really wasn't relevant till now. So with Ichigo technically being qualified as a visor, Shinji is like, Hey man, you should leave the Soul Reapers and join my squad. But Ichigo briskly declined. Tell him, boy, bye. Moving forward to Aranka arriving in Katakuta Town, Ukiora and Yami. And what is an wrong car you ask well to answer your question it's a hollow that has removed its mask and obtained powers similar to that of a soul reaper oh i really wonder who's responsible for this this is when chad and orihime pull up after sensing their spiritual levels over nine oh hell nah you ain't gonna finish that dead ass meme well after orihime and chad sense the wrong car's spiritual pressure they rush to the location and engage in battle and it looks like chad takes a fat l you got knocked the fuck out just as Orihime is about to get striked, you already know the main character is gonna appear. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh. Does he owe him money? What is going on? <laughs> Shit! God, this was a bit unexpected. No, he no. needs some milk! So this is when Urahara and Yorichi arrive at the scene, and pretty much scares the two Aronkar off. Or maybe not scare them off, because Ukiyora says they were sent by Aizen to gauge Ichigo's strength. And since Ichigo was seen as trash to them, there was no use staying around. With Ichigo feeling like a weak piece of sh- Damn. That's- that's hurtful. Shit. He goes to meet up with the visor, asking if they can teach him how to control his holification. And they're like, all you gotta do is join! And NOTICE ME! No! And with Ichigo being Ichigo, he's like, Nah, I'm just here to use you guys. And so a fight breaks out, leading Ichigo to release his untamed holification and choking this bitch out. But soon after, the visor restrains Ichigo and stops his rampage. After seeing Ichigo's holification potential, they then decide to help Ichigo get a grip of his power. Moving forward, Ukiyora was ordered by Aizen to capture Orihime because he had an interest in her powers, also threatening her friend's lives if she didn't comply. Ukiyora then gives Orihime a 12-hour period before bringing her to Wikamundo, allowing her to say goodbye to one person. She is then instructed to wear this bracelet 
bullet, which makes her invisible to everyone but the Aronkar. And so she says goodbye to Ichigo before being taken prisoner by Aizen. Moving forward, the Soul Reapers inform Ichigo about Orihime and concludes that she has sided with the Aronkar. Ichigo did not accept that, and so he gathers with Uryu and Chad and heads to Waco Mundo through the garden. Hold up, his real name is Chad? But wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I think that's more unbelievable than they than they going than they being soul reapers. So you mean like people got all these interesting names, Ichigo, that nigga though, what? over there, oh, and then I said what I said. And his name is Chad. Oh, I feel like I got the short end of the stick, Chad. Garganta that Urahara has opened for them. On their arrival, they meet three good natured Arankar Nel, Peshe, and Don Dichaka. Shortly after, Rukia and Renji appear. Using the Arankar's warm looking pet, Bawa Bawa, they travel to Lost Noches, where Orihime is being held. Now that they have arrived in Lost Noches, they had no other choice but to go up against the Arankar elite forces, known as the Espada. But of course, they breeze through these fights no problem because, after all, they all got that main character invincibility cloak equipped. <laughs> Be so brutal. Uh, I don't think that nigga got the cloak. He dead. Um. Oh, never mind. Moving forward, the Espada Grimjow sneaks Orihime out of her prison to. Damn. When did she get those? Oh, never mind. Moving forward, the Espada Grimjow sneaks Orihime. When did she get those? Those are new. Don't make me look like a pervert. I'd never seen those before. I she looked flat chested as hell. Don't come for me unless I sent for you. Orihime out of her prison to heal Ichigo. Or maybe not heal, more like bring back from the dead, using her power to reject reality, and basically rewind time before a certain event occurred. But the reason why Grimjaw did this is to get a proper death match with Ichigo. Because the last time they faced each other, he was forced to retreat before finishing their fights episodes back. What's funny is that I forgot to include this detail, so I'm including it now. <laughs> and so Ichigo unleashes his holification and beats that ass easy money. And uh, you know there's another filler arc? What? I said there's enough. I heard you the first time. For fuck's sake. Because these shit suck so much. I will skip them for the sake of this anime a minute. Thank me later and I will kiss you on the cheek. Shortly after defeating Grimjow, two Arankar appear. Noitra and Tesra. And they end up picking a fight with Ichigo. And so, with Ichigo being at a weakened state, he takes a fat L. Nani? Where did Kampachi come from? Nani? Where did Wu-Tang? Where did... Where did Coolio come from? Now, I know y'all better not never give my baby daddy a, a... What is these hairstyles? Okay, Vegeta just has an ultimate, um, ba da ba 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 M. But come on, dog. At least his hair is full in the back. Like, that look like, that look like 10 steps away from a struggle ponytail. Come on, dog. Nani? Kampachi takes out Noitra? Nani? Orihime gets captured by Naronkar again? Nani? Alright, I need to stop. <laughs> well, moving forward, with many Soul Reapers besides Kampachi pulling up to Waco Mundo, Aizen uses Bakugo number 77 to contact them, basically using Bakugo number 77 as a fucking speaker to tell them that he lured them here, closing off the Gargantas that they enter here through, and essentially trapping the Soul Reapers in Waco Mundo. With that being said, Aizen leaves Waco Mundo with Gin and Kaname to Katakuta Town to create the Oaken, a key to the Soul King Palace, which requires 100,000 souls to create, and basically Aizen's plan is to fight the Soul King, to overthrow him and take his throne. But I have heard that Aizen just wanted to have a good fight, but, I mean, yeah. I just saw that on the internet, but, hey, let's move on. But little did Aizen know, Urahara has set up a plan to replace the real Katakuta Town with the replica, and to post the 13 Court Guard Squad captains in that fake Katakuta Town. But as soon as Aizen arrives, he already knew what's up. He was like, yeah, th this shit is all fake. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? And so Aizen summons his Aronkar troops, and soon after the visor arrives, siding with the Soul Reaper- What? The fuck is she? What is she doing? Ah, what is happening right now? What is? Is she posting? Is she posing for an IG photo? Did what? What? What is she doing? You know what? Maybe that's how she harbors her powers through her broken lumbar. Maybe that's how. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like everybody else got the memo to stand up straight. She's like, fuck that shit with the intention to take down Aizen.
Yo, tell me why this song makes me want to twerk. Moving forward, Ukiyora is with Orihime planning they to brand. finish her off because Aizen no longer Ooh. has a purpose for her. But of course, the main character arrives at the scene one Captain Sabaho. Once again. And so Ukiyora and Ichigo have a spicy fight, even breaking the boundaries of this goddamn dimension. Meanwhile, the 13 Court Guard Squad captains got a lot on their plate and. Oh, for crying out loud, another filler arc? Yeah, I think I'm getting tired of covering these filler openings, so, uh. You know what it's time for? It's time to get into the good shit. Change! Nabika nai naga sare nai yo imaka anjiru koto ni shita yu de itai no! Well, moving forward, Ichigo is still in that juicy fight with Ukiyora, pushing him to enter his full hollow form after being killed. Yeah, you heard me right. But with this form, Ichigo spreads Ukiyora's cheeks like bread and drills. Killing that bitch. But it looks like Ichigo goes down alongside with him. You know he's the main character, right? Come on, put your boobs to work. That's what I'm talking about. Really, nigga? Fucking hacks! After recovering, Ichigo heads down to do cleanup duty and attempts to take out the Arankar Yami. But in the midst of battle, Miyakia stops Ichigo, telling him that he must return to the world of the living using the Garganta Mayuri created. And so, after a bit of conflict, he goes through the Garganta with Letsu Unahana. While traveling through the Garganta, Unahana tells Ichigo he is the only one who can possibly defeat Aizen because he is the main character. What happened to the bitch that he saved, though? Did she stay in the other world? Or. Where, where he went after her did he just leave her there and be like hey y'all i'm gonna come get you after i'm done with this Tell him, boy, bye. questions I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's because Ichigo hasn't been exposed to Aizen's Zanpakuto ability, Kanzen Simon, or complete hypnosis, Dad which is initiated up. through looking at the release of Aizen's Zanpakuto. This ability's influence is pretty much permanent and has the ability to hypnotize and manipulate all five senses. Unahana warns Ichigo to never look at Aizen's Shikai, or in other words, Aizen's Zanpakuto release. Moving forward, the Aran card get wiped out, Aizen's henchman Kaname gets killed, and Ichigo arrives in false Katakuta Town and goes to strike Aizen right off the bat. But it doesn't seem to be working out so well, and so the Visored and Soul Reapers help out the boy Ichigo. And ends up getting annihilated. Shizukani! Shizukani! With Ichigo being the final man standing, he goes up against Aizen once again. And this is when Aizen is like, check out my nipples. Or, uh, what? I mean, my <laughs> Hoguku I fused with. Which essentially gives Aizen fucking god mode. Aizen then continues spouting out some bullshit, saying that he has forged Ichigo's path all the way till now since the day he was born. This is when Daddy Kurosaki swoops in, and apparently he's a soul reaper. Shortly after, Gin arrives at the scene and takes on Ichigo while Ichigo's father Ishin takes on Aizen. As Ishin is fighting Aizen, Urahara and Yoriichi arrive to assist him in this battle. With I just like the way to just casually put titties in here. Father Ishin takes on Aizen. As Ishin is fighting Aizen, Urahara and Yoriichi arrive. Titties. Uh, to assist him in this battle. With Aizen being an OP ass motherfucker, he then follows through and drills their cheeks with ease. Shortly after those ass drillings, Aizen then leaves with Gin to head to the real Katakuta town to forge the Oaken, leaving Ichigo, Ishin, Urahara, and Yoroichi alive. Bro, I think you forgot to finish off the main character. What? Moving forward, Ich- I know, for the plot. I was about to say, see? Be a horrible villain. Cause if they already down and out, what's stopping me from taking, like he got some, I know he got like a beam or something just to just hit it right in his heart so he can just stop that shit, you know? Ichigo's father gives Ichigo one of those powerful Naruto speeches, saying even though they are too weak to defeat Aizen, they can't just stand around doing nothing because everyone in Katakuta Town will inevitably be slaughtered. And so Ishin opens the Senkai Mon, enabling them to travel to the real Katakuta Town. As they are traveling through the Senkai Mon, Ishin notices the cleaner is no longer there in the Dongai. Essentially, the cleaner is there to kill anyone or anything from staying too long. And the cleaner is pretty much as durable as Diamond, but since Aizen got those OP hacks on, he destroyed that shit pretty easily on his way to Katakuta Town. With that being said, Ishin decides to take advantage of the time distortion in the Dongai guy to teach Ichigo the final Getsu Gatensho. And for those people who don't know the time distortion in the Dongai, I'm gonna tell you. Well, just look at it like this. One year outside the Dongai will equate to 2,000 years in here. So yeah, Ichigo- One year outside will- So it's like, it's like the hyperbolic time chamber on steroids, basically. Kinda got a lot of fucking time on his hand. So moving forward a couple of episodes, Yin ends up turning on Aizen because apparently he and Rangiku were childhood friends and Aizen ended up harming her a long time back, making him plot his revenge the she day died? he affiliated himself with Aizen. But things don't go as planned. <laughs> Shortly after the death of Gin, the boy Ichigo makes his appearance and man did he get a buff after training that Don guy. Just look at this disrespect right here. Come on, that nigga, fuck him. He ain't shit. And so Ichigo and Aizen have their final showdown, resulting in Ichigo using the final 
Yeah, Easy Go look fine as fuck in this in this shot, but nobody can somebody still explain to me why the why Eisen got butterfly wings? And I'm the guy who's not judging you on your appearance. Or is that just a part of his god mode? I don't I don't know. I'm not saying that to be an asshole. I don't know. Gets the good tensho, smacking that bitch Aizen right in the mouth and taking him down. And to put the icing on the cake, Urahara uses his keto to seal and apprehend Aizen. Knowledgeable of the repercussions for using the final Gets the Tensho, Ichigo slowly loses his Soul Reaper powers and oh my God, for God's sake, another filler arc! Ah, oh, get this filler arc opening out of my face. Well, moving past those goddamn fillers, Ichigo has lost all of his spiritual energy, and so he says his farewells to Rukia. And that is the end of Bleach. No, there's actually more. Do I really have to go over the shit as arc? Do it for the anime in minutes. <sighs> well, apparently there's more. This is the final arc of Bleach. Sorry to say it shit. So I will skim over this shit like no tomorrow. <laughs> so with Ichigo no longer having spiritual energy, this guy hits him up like, Hey yo, you want your powers back? And Ichigo's like, Yeah, bro! So Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? So Ichigo unlocks full bring powers. Of course, that's after a series of tests that push his physical and spiritual capabilities. Just as Ichigo gets a mastery of his full bring powers, this guy turns on Ichigo and steals his powers. Called it. That's one. Well, goddamn, that escalated quickly. Rukia appears behind him and stabs him with a special blade, giving him spiritual energy and his soul repair powers back. With that being said, Ichigo beats that ass and kills that bitch. Oh yeah, his name was Kugo Ginjo. For anyone who actually cares about that, uh, I mean, I don't know why you would, but yeah. So with that villain out of the way, Ichigo's soul repair powers returned. We got the conclusion of Bleach. Well, well, I understand Bleach now. I, I can honestly say... My final thoughts on Bleach, um, I understand a lot more about it. Um, Ichigo is a Captain Sabre Ho. Um, he changes his hair color a lot and he fights a butterfly at the end. And then a, a woman turns from a cat, a, a cat to a human and boobs. I I I got bleach down, you guys. So so next time, next time, bleach friends, I got you. Cats, boobs, changing hair color, basically. I got bleach. I learned bleach now. I'm I'm like professional at it now. I'm fucking around, you guys. Um, uh, but I know this is a really different on my channel. But I really wanted to. I really wanted to know about a little bit more about bleach because the last person that kind of explained it, it was like all over the place. But it was more. This was more coherent, and I appreciate it. I mean, I see some through lines that that I see what people will fuck with. I didn't really see Eisen being a complete dick, but. I mean, like, I guess because it wasn't focused on Eisen, it wasn't like Eisen focused. But I. I mean, like, I appreciate that. Learn some new shit about Bleach. Will I watch it? I think I will probably watch the, like, maybe the first couple episodes. And I would probably skip all the filler arcs. Because my ADHD is real. And, um, I'll just turn the shit off. Anyway, but, again, my name is Shade Too Sweet. You can call me Shade for short. The original creator will be listed down below. Thank you so much. Bleach is 16 minutes. Uh, I... So thank you so much. And like uh what? So the, the original creator will be linked down below. Uh Bleach fans, if he left out some stuff, I mean it was only 16 minutes, but if he left out some important stuff, put it down below, man. I mean, like I love reading the comments and everything else. Y'all have me rolling, so hey, hey, look, I want y'all to take all that animosity that y'all had towards me and remember my whole community voted y'all off the island so i mean like i need y'all to come through strong a little bit <laughs> don't forget to follow me on all my social medias of course of course of course um of course of course of course you can donate if you want if you, you can join my patreon if you want uh follow me on instagram and twitter uh uh subscribe to my youtube and sometimes i stream on twitch um but my name is Shay too, so you can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Animals and bitches feeling like the serengeti on it.